Let's have a look at the purpose and function of an unloading valve as used in a hydraulic system. The symbol for an unloading valve is quite similar to the symbol for a pressure relief valve. They are both normally blocking or normally closed off valves. Springs are used to keep the valves in their closed position. They are both waiting for a high enough pressure value on the dashed pilot line to cause them to open and pass flow. The poppet, represented by an arrow inside of the box, will move to the open position against the force of the spring only when the pilot pressure is high enough. See if you can figure out what the pressure setting is for the relief valve and for the unloading valve. What makes the unloading valve symbol unique is the presence of a check valve, which is a one-way valve between the inlet port of the unloading valve and the pilot line that triggers the unloading valve. When the unloading valve opens, we only want the flow from the right-hand pump to pass through. The check valve prevents flow from the left-hand pump from escaping to tank. It is not uncommon to find an unloading valve in use with fixed displacement pumps. An unloading valve can be used to create what is sometimes known as a high-low circuit, and it is also used to minimize the power required from the prime mover, an electric motor in this case, when the system pressure gets to a level that might cause the motor to stall. What you will see is that a small electric motor can still continue to turn one of the two pumps, the left pump, now working at a higher system pressure by unloading the pump on the right. If you've been watching the system cycle, you've probably already got a pretty good sense of the function. Another point about an unloading valve that makes it unique from a relief valve is that once the unloading valve is triggered to the open position, the valve has very low resistance to flow passing through it. The pressure on the outlet port of the right-hand pump will be very low. That is what it means to unload. That is, to make it quite easy for the right-hand pump to move flow without requiring much power from the electric motor. This has been a brief introduction to the unloading valve. If you use several fixed displacement pumps in your hydraulic system, have a look at the schematic to see if one of the symbols looks a little like a relief valve and has a check valve on the pilot line. Then you'll know you've got an unloading valve. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up.